Hey everyone, if you're building a compact AMD system and searching for the best mini ITX motherboards, you've come to the right place. In this video, I've picked out the top 3 AMD mini ITX motherboards that offer excellent performance and features to suit various budgets. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and share your thoughts in the comments below. All the details and prices are in the description. Let's dive in. Number 3. Gigabyte A620i AX – Best Budget AMD Mini ITX Motherboard If you're looking for a cheaper option to enter into the AM5 experience, the A620 chipset is the one to go for. The A620 chipsets don't offer any room for CPU overclocking, but there's memory overclock present in the form of AMD Expo, which is what most users use anyway. The Gigabyte A620i AX is a budget mini ITX motherboard that lets you enjoy the AM5 chipset and offers features that allow you to make the most out of it. When it comes to the design, it follows a grey and black theme with reasonable VRM and chipset heatsinks that also cover the M2 slot on the board. The heatsinks have a striped design in grey along with Gigabyte branding on the bottom. That said, the board is definitely not going to win any design contests, but such things don't really matter much, especially in mini ITX boards, since most of it's covered by your components anyway. For memory, it uses a two DIMM slot configuration, with a single locking mechanism at the top. For CPU power, there's an 8-pin EPS connector present at the top left corner, along with a header for your CPU fan. In terms of VRM design, the board uses a digital 5 plus 2 plus 1 phase configuration, which is expected from an entry-level motherboard. Even though Gigabyte marketing suggests that it can even handle a Ryzen 9 7950X, that's quite a long shot. While this board may be able to support a high-end processor like this, I wouldn't recommend using it for that. For power delivery, there are 55 amp power stages for the V-Core, which should technically be enough for a processor like the Ryzen 7800 X3D. Looking at the performance metrics, this board has no Gen 5 slot. Both the PCIe x16 and M2 are based on the PCIe Gen 4 technology, which is quite fair for a board in the $100 price range. However, I would have definitely liked to see more M2 slots, since there's only one available. Support for memory speed is good, with a max speed of 6400 MHz, with a total capacity of 128GB. This has become a common configuration that's present across all motherboards now. What's not common is the network connectivity here. Along with a Realtek 2.5 Gigabit LAN chip, the Gigabyte A620i AX also comes with built-in Wi-Fi support using a Realtek Wi-Fi 6E module. In terms of USB, you get a total of 11 ports, out of which 6 are USB 3.2 and the remaining 5 are USB 2.0. Considering the VRM design, the thermal efficiency is as good as can be expected. It certainly doesn't blow off the charts, and I really wouldn't recommend using a processor that draws a lot of power for this board, but does a fine job for entry-level processors, and you can, at max, push it to processors like Ryzen 7800X with a strong cooling implementation. Anything above that would be overkill for this board. In comparison, the Gigabyte B650i AX performs even worse in thermals, even though it's a much more expensive motherboard. From a feature standpoint, both the boards basically go head-to-head, -head, with the B650i AX slightly gaining an overhead with more USB ports, but nothing groundbreaking. To summarize, the Gigabyte A620i AX is a board that will get you started with the AM5 chipset and experience, allowing you to make the most out of it with an adequate feature set and performance. To sum up, what I like is the great network connectivity and it's priced reasonably. On the downside, there's only one M2 slot and there's no Gen 5 support. Ratings. VRM design, 7.5 out of 10. Connectivity, 8.5 out of 10. Aesthetics, 8 out of 10. Features, 7.5 out of 10. Value for money, 
8 out of 10 for an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Number 2. Asus ROG Strix X670EI Gaming Wi-Fi Best Premium AMD Mini ITX Motherboard Asus ROG Strix X670EI Gaming Wi-Fi is a motherboard that demonstrates impressive features in a compact Mini ITX form factor. The first thing to note is how Asus optimizes the available space, raising the VRM and M2 heatsinks. This smart design not only manages the thermal loads well, but also ensures that this compact board can host all the critical components without compromise. Around the CPU socket, you'll find ample space to install your desired CPU cooler, whether that's a hefty air cooler or an AIO liquid variant. The two memory DIMM slots are available here for DDR5 memory, and they support up to 6600 MHz, ensuring your PC will have access to high-speed memory. The motherboard features two M2 slots, following the design trend of its predecessor, the X570EI. One of these slots is capable of operating at the high-speed PCIe Gen 5.0, enabling faster data transfers. Along with this, the VRM design has been improved to a 10 plus 2 configuration, a step up from the 8 plus 2 setup seen in older boards. The X670EI Gaming Wi-Fi offers a PCIe Gen 5 by 16 slot. While it's the only PCIe slot available on this board, given the mini ITX form factor, it's a fair trade-off. Asus makes up for the limited connectivity options inherent in a Mini-ITX motherboard by providing the ROG FP2 card, offering extra SATA ports and headers. What really sets this motherboard apart is the addition of the ROG Strix Hive. This magnetic extension brings in more features, including a volume dial, debug LEDs, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, and a BIOS flashback button. Importantly, the Hive is equipped with two USB 4.0 ports, providing impressive 40 gigabytes per second data transfer speeds. Price-wise, it's on the higher end, but considering the features and quality you're getting, it's a justified cost. Also, while the two DIMM slots might be limiting for some, they should be more than enough for most users who typically run with dual-channel memory. In conclusion, the Asus ROG Strix X670EI Gaming Wi-Fi strikes a great balance between offering high-end features, a reliable VRM setup, and a practical design in a compact form factor. For users looking for an X670 board that provides these qualities in a small form factor, this motherboard is the ideal option. Number 1. Gigabyte B650i Aorus Ultra – Our Top Choice the Gigabyte B650i Aorus Ultra is an exceptional mini-ITX board for AM5 processors, offering a great feature set at its small size factor. On top of that, its mid-range price point makes it stand out. From good connectivity options to a capable VRM configuration, this board surely ticks all of the important checkboxes along with some goodies. Starting off with the design, right off the bat, you can tell the board is filled with heatsinks, which is a good sign since it's getting tougher by the day to keep up with the increasing power requirements of modern components. It comes in the typical matte black theme, along with some accents of silver on the heatsinks. The heatsinks are branded with Aorus, and the bottom heatsink covers both the M2 slot and the chipset. On the top left corner, you'll find an 8-pin EPS connector for the CPU. As for memory, the board uses a 2 DIMMs slot configuration, present with a locking mechanism on the top. The left DIMM slot is tightly packed with the bottom heatsink, so you'll need to make sure your RAM module is not too thick. Coming to power delivery and VRMs, the board has an 8 plus 2 plus 1 phase VRM design, along with a 105 amps power stages for the V-Core. All of this is present on the 12 layer PCB design, and it really does perform well at high power draw for a mini ITX motherboard. More on this later. Moving on to the performance, the board offers a single PCIe x16 Gen 4 slot for your graphics card. 
I would have liked to see Gen 5 here, but this isn't really a deal breaker. An easy latch is present for the by 16 PCIe slot, making it easier to unmount your graphics card on this small board. Along with that, you get three M2 slots, all of which are also based on PCIe Gen 4. A good thing here is that all of these M2 slots are present under a thick heatsink, so you get ample cooling for all of your NVMe drives. The board is able to support max memory speeds of 6400 MHz, supporting up to a total of 128GB via the two DIMM slots. The numbers are also great when it comes to thermal performance. Under extensive workload and with a power rating of more than 200 watts, the board is able to maintain an acceptable temperature of 76 degrees Celsius. This is better than competitors like the MSI MPG B650i Edge Wi-Fi, which also falls behind when it comes to storage options, offering only two M2 slots compared to the three slots on this board. For connectivity, you're looking at a total of 14 USB ports, which are equally divided between the rear and the front. Out of the seven on the back, three ports are USB 3.2 Gen 2, two being USB 3.2 Gen 1, and the last two are the older USB 2.0 ports. For the front, you get four USB 2.0 ports and a single USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, while the rest are based on USB 3.2 Gen 1. Finally, network performance is also great, with support of 2.5 gigabit Ethernet via the Intel network chip, along with built-in Wi-Fi 6E support that uses Realtek modules. In summary, the Gigabyte B650i Aorus Ultra is a board that has very little to no compromises, great thermal efficiency, and overall great connectivity options for a mini ITX board. To sum up, what I like are the great thermals, the great value for the price, and the solid storage options. On the downside, there's no Gen 5 support and no debug LEDs. Ratings. VRM design, 9 out of 10. Connectivity, 9 out of 10. Aesthetics, 9 out of 10. Features, 8.5 out of 10. Value for money, 9 out of 10. For an overall rating, of 9 out of 10.